Kevin Whitaker was a victim of the drug wars. In November 1994, he was found dead in a ditch near the Essex village of Dunton. Well, you feel, you feel like he's let you get let Yes, down. you feel betrayed to a degree, don't you? And he, he betrayed himself, he betrayed his son, if you like, mm. let everybody down. But he's not here to defend himself. We don't know the circumstances. We don't know what happened, why he did it, how he became so heavily involved and why, in the end, it became necessary to get rid of him. The post-mortem found that a bizarre cocktail of drugs had been injected into Whitaker's body. For a start, he was terrified of needles. And he was right-handed, and the three needle marks were found in his right arm. And it was afterwards that we sort of, I suppose, we began to put two and two together. But all of a sudden, he was saying, I want to go. I'd like to get out of Basildon. Um, it's not a nice place now. The coroner returned an open verdict, but Whitaker's death has been linked to the firm, and Craig Rolfe in particular. I know for a fact that Craig killed Kevin. You know, because when Pat was in hospital, they went in laughing and telling Pat what they'd done to this fellow, and then Pat was telling me. He'd injected him with special K, which numbs the body but the brain's still working then he injected him with two injections of cocaine and then threw him in a ditch why did he do that because he'd previously he'd stolen sixty thousand pounds of the cannabis off of him